Hello and happy Monday. Acquisition Manager Monday is back in full effect. Uh, remember, guys, that this is the live stream where I like to bring uh, tips and tricks on how to take your business to the next level, how to improve your sales process and your current business, and how to hire out and find uh, a, a solid candidate to do this business for you and automate what you have going. <clears throat> so remember, uh, this is the live stream, but you can find the recording of this uh, via YouTube uh, on Investor in You, as well as anywhere you listen to podcasts uh, or a link to my Instagram at I am B Barnes. So welcome. Um, today, uh, for starters, is what four, five, four, five days after the Peachtree Road Race. My very first time doing a Peachtree Road Race. Uh, it was amazing. Um, I um, started like 30 days ago thinking that I was going to train, I was going to do all this stuff. And um, I, I started and stopped. And it took until like a week before the actual road race where I was like, damn, I have to do something now. <clears throat> and I jumped in full feet. And um, it was a struggle. It was, I, I got like the itchy feeling all over my body because I hadn't worked out in so long. And that was like a reminder of what I always say um, in these recordings and anything that I, I coach and teach about uh, this business. And I think with any business is that consistency is key. And that was a hard, hard reminder about um, why you are consistent and why, you know, consistency will help propel you to your goal. So that last week, uh, I grinded it out. Um, I worked out three, four times that week. And then, so on the actual road race, um, you know, I didn't die. I'm still here. Uh, but I, um, actually got hit my goal. I wanted to do it under 60 minutes and I came in at 58, 45 seconds. So that was a great, great accomplishment. Now I got the itch. I want to do it again, um, next year and do some in between. So, um, as far as, uh, getting back into the swing of things, um, I took some days off, but I had some time to really reflect on kind of what I wanted to talk about um, and where I want uh, the Investor in You program to go. Um, I'll be sending out some emails for everybody that's uh, inquired via um, Instagram, Facebook, or text message about where the program was going to go and when we we're going to start. I'll be sending an email out to you guys here um, and get going on some group coaching calls on Wednesdays. So if you're still interested, make sure that you DM me, PM me, let me know. I'm like super excited to bring you guys some great value and instruction, um, empowering folks to um, take charge and make money in real estate. <clears throat> so today, um, I wanted to talk about something that's really kind of hit home recently, um, and that's transparency in your sales cycle and why that's important. Uh, why... Um, you know, how that relates to dollars and cents for your business, how that will relate to operational excellence in your business. Um, transparency is key. Wholesaling has gotten, you know, um, it, you know, it's kind of made a comeback, I guess, if you will, uh, in recent years. But right after the, the crash of like 2008 and coming out of that, um, there was a lot of people that were, you know, trying to lock up deals and you know, um, you know, pe put people on title without doing things the proper way and going and taking things throughout the process. And that kind of gave wholesaling a bad name. But um, I'm a testament to the fact that it's alive and well. Um, you can make a real business uh, uh, in wholesaling. And for all of you guys that don't know, uh, when you see those signs, we buy ugly uh, the little caveman um, that's like on the back of the bus or on a billboard, that is as you know, through and through a wholesale operation. They, for the most part, they are wholesalers um, at heart. They use money to purchase homes. And then they'll either sell them out just like anybody else would, or they'll take it down um, just like we do as well. So um, this is a business that is, is full and bona fide, but um, what has given it a bad name at a time is people that are, you know, trying to, um, not show their full intentions of what they want to do with the property. People that say like, Hey, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to rehab it. I'm going to do this, fix and flip it. And, and they're not, they're, they're just wanting to, you know, resell it. And there's nothing wrong with that. 
but there's, it's important to say, you know, to share what you are doing up front. It'll just make it so much, so much smoother. Um, so for starters, who are you and what do you do? We are in the business of finding properties discounted um, that are off market in nature. We are, uh, for all intents and purposes, I know people say we're in a marketing business, but you know, they're actually right. You are in the business of finding discounted off market properties. And what you're offering to a homeowner is speed and convenience um, in lieu of price. You want to get a good price for that because you are you know, making sure that they don't have to go out and find the best agent. They're not having to show their property themselves. They're often not having to deal with tenants. Um, they're not having to go through eviction processes, moving things out. We just closed on a property two weeks ago where the guy was living in Ohio and he wanted us to put all his stuff into storage for him. He never came to the state of Georgia. We went over there. We walked it one time. We closed on it within three weeks. Uh, we actually paid for moving services out of our pocket to get there, his stuff put into storage so that his relative could come out and pick it up. We provide him great value. He didn't want to have to deal with this problem property. Um, and we did that for him and we were upfront about what we were doing. We were upfront about the fact that uh, we were you know, going to be uh, as his most convenient and speedy option for getting this home sold. And we weren't going to be doing the work ourselves. We were going to immediately resell uh, the home for a profit. That's how we make money and how we provide value again is being speedy and convenient and people will pay for that. Um, it's just like, you know, when you go to the airport and you're hungry and you know that your Chick-fil-A sandwich should cost like $3 and 50 cent and it's like seven fifty on the board. Well, that's because it's convenient. It's, it's where you want it. And people pay for convenience all day, every day, um, and, and this business is no different. Uh, by the way, if there's any questions, uh, please write them in the comment box. I love to answer questions. Um, the, uh, for starters, so you're, you're framing what you're doing up front with the homeowner. Uh, the next key phase is that walkthrough inspection. Um, you know, early on, I used to say, Hey, you know, we're going, I'm going to have some contractors out there. My contractors, um, that, you know, are going to come and take measurements so we can see that the home is in good shape for the rehab that we're going to do. Um, we got to the point of, of saying in our business, hey, this is a property that we're immediately going to resell. So there may be buyers there who want to make an offer on the home like as is. There may be agents there uh, who will do a listing for us at, uh, immediately after we purchase a property or during the process because we are wanting to be able to transact on your property as quickly as humanly possible. Would you like that? Is that what you're interested in? Do you want uh, speed and convenience for this transaction? If they say yes, then they should be on board with your process. Um, and then lastly, uh, kind of that closing process, letting them know that, you know, hey, um, we are oftentimes, and we do double closing with pass-through funding. And so we'll let them know that there's gonna be a simultaneous closing but we'll make sure that all the funds are there in an escrow before we close on the property so that you make sure we make sure that once you sign um, on the uh, settlement statement and all of the deeds that your funds are immediately available to you. And so by sharing that, um, it's going to make your relationship with your closing attorneys better. It's going to make the process with the homeowner better. Um, it's going to allow you to go back and, you know, if you do need to get a reduction to get a reduction um, on the property. Um, and of course, always, as always, um, be ethical. Um, if you have some room in the deal, there's no point, no reason to go back for more as, as long as it's um, past your threshold. Our threshold is like 10K um, and we'll, we'll go for less if we need to. Uh, but these are things that have made our process so much smoother to the point where my acquisition manager as he's getting a, the property under contract and, and building that rapport, he lets them know like, hey, this is what, what our business does is provides um, speed and convenience. Uh, we're going to be able to close on your property within the 30 days. That's always our goal. We're gonna make it as convenient as possible for you. Um, but yes, we've done rehabs. Yes, we've purchased homes to uh, hold on, 
but the vast majority of the times we're going to immediately resell it through our network of buyers um, and or on the open market, but we're going to do all the, the legwork to make that happen. So you don't have to lift the muscle. Is that cool? Is that, is that okay with you? Do you understand? And if they say yes, I mean, Hey, that like, that's, that's your process. If they say no, then they're not a good fit. That just means you got to get back to work and can be consistent and finding other opportunities. Every homeowner is not going to work for you, but um, having and generating more leads will solve all your problems. So um, in this business, as we say, it's a numbers game. There are going to be certain people that, you know, are going to want that speed and convenience in lieu of price. Um, as long as you are being transparent, you can't lose um, because you're going to do deals with the folks that, uh, you're supposed to do deals with, and you won't do deals with the folks that that you're not supposed to do deal with that that, that aren't a good fit for you and your process. Um, the backdrop to all of this is having a clearly defined sales process, um, and I've talked about that before. Um, I've talked about you know the warm up, um, the rapport building phase, um, the um, phase where you're you're, you're de defining. Um, your process uh, where you're getting close and you're boomeranging and, and finding out, you know, if this is something that they want to move forward with, you need to make sure that in, in that process, you're clearly laying out what you intend to do with the property. I mean, it's, it's, some people can get away with not doing this, but it just generates, it creates more headaches uh, when you're, you're um, uh, sharing to homeowners that your primary uh, means of, um, investing in real estate is, you know, fix and flip and stuff they see on HGTV when you can just say, Hey, our primary mean of, um, making money is being, uh, you know, you know, speedy and convenient, um, and immediately reselling these properties through our network, through the legwork that we do up front, through our relationships with our closing attorneys. That's what we leverage to make money. Um, and we may make this as, as easy and convenient, uh, for you. So, uh, remember your value, um, you know, a few things, clearly define yourself, your sales process, uh, what your, what your sales cycle should look through and any conversation with the homeowner, um, yeah, understand and know your value in this business. You are here to provide speed and convenience for homeowners so that they don't have to go through that uh, process, uh, themselves. Um, and then also, uh, just make sure you're ethical throughout um the entire entire process so um this is something that again it took me a while to really be comfortable with um but my original um aside from my original coach um my now business coach todd toback talks about this um be a truth teller and a, be a truth seeker um make sure that you know you're telling the truth and it's how you frame it um, you frame what you're doing with confidence. You give full transparency. It will help you in the long run. It will make sure it will make your process from contact to contract to close um, so much smoother. It'll keep your relationships healthy with your closing attorney. Um, it'll keep you able to focus on the business instead of putting out fires and headaches dealing with sellers that are disgruntled because they saw. You had your uh, had their property posted on Facebook or Craigslist. Um, it just solves so many problems before it gets started. So um, that's what is key here. Um, again, in our business, we share that you know what we're doing um, multiple times throughout the conversation, and it really, really helps. It really, really helps in the long run. So um, that is the message for today. If anybody has any questions, please. Um, PM me, DM me. Um, I'm going to be short and sweet this time around. Again, be looking for email if, email if you've already um, sent me a message. And once again, this was Acquisition Manager Monday uh, here on the live Facebook stream uh, at IMB Barnes. And the recorded version of this is available on YouTube at Investor in You um, and anywhere that you listen to podcasts. So, Everybody be well. Have a good rest of your day. Happy hunting. I'll see you later.